And welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 5's Mercenaries. I'm of course Black Shadow, and uh, we had a bit of a blast in the public assembly folks. Going to show off uh, the game and get back used to the controls a little bit folks. Uh, luckily I am in between having played Resident Evil 5, the, the campaign in this, I have played uh, a reasonable amount of Resident Evil 5's uh, Mercenaries uh, 3D. Uh, so that's helped kind of keep me half in safe shape, luckily for this. Some of these stages feature in that game, some of them don't. Luckily the Mines does feature in that, thank goodness folks. And the Mines is uh, a pretty <clears throat> pretty treacherous stage if you ask me folks. Uh, luckily I still remember quite a bit about a lot of these. So I'm aware of bits of strategy here and there and ideas I've sort of come up with uh, as I've gone along. And the Mines is certainly one of those. So. Who do I want to be today? We've already done uh, the Chris Redfield here. Best thing you want to do here, folks, for this stage is you do want to have a character with you that has some kind of strong precision weapon. It's very important. Now, Wesker certainly fits those bills, but I don't want to do Wesker just yet. I'm going to leave Wesker for now. Jill! Jill BSAA certainly doesn't. Uh, the battle suit does have the PSG, which would be pretty handy. I think I might leave it though. I think I might actually dish out another Chris uh, actual um, version here. I think I might go for Stars Chris here, actually. Sounds pretty good. Uh, you got the uh, the Sig 556 machine gun, which isn't. I'm still not completely. I don't think it's the best mercenary weapon in the game, but he does have a Magnum, which is very useful for this stage, folks. And so, an enemy you need to be pretty accurate with. So I'm going to go with Stars Chris for this. He also has his grenade launcher as well, which could be quite useful. Are those electric rounds? I got off the chopper. Headed your way now. Until I get there, take out as many enemies as you can. Oh, this is the last time. I love listening to Josh. Enemies in a row, you get yourself a nice bonus. Love that line. So what have we got here for Chris? They are electric rounds. Alright, so the mines, you guys may remember from uh, having been here. This is the where we went through in the campaign. Usually it was like really dark. We had to have that light with us, folks, normally. So we could see, and this is the bit at the end. Luckily, the tunnels are all nice and lit for us now. Which is now. Right, break that there, which I remember is there. So there's two main sections. You've got this main sort of cavern area uh, out here, and then you've got the actual mines tunnels themselves. I hate it when I do that. I try and run too quickly and I go to press the A button to run forward and then of course I then reload. I hate it when I do that. So when you're using machine guns, of course you can add a lot more shots. Um, chicken. Killing the chicken gives you a thousand points straight up. So it's pretty, uh, pretty beneficial to take out. Oi! Get back here chicken! I see you there. You ain't escaping me. There we go. It does need to die, folks. It is part of the uh, part of the thing. Part of the, uh, the kill count, folks. It's got to be done. Who only dropped a white egg for me? You jerk. Not happy about that. There's a couple of uh, big member Ginny. Uh, not the big member Ginny. Oh shit. Load man. But the uh, these guys. Oh, he's dead. No, he's not. Would you like to die? Okay, he's dead. But yeah, the fact is obviously that you can use machine guns. You can get a lot more of the opportunities to stun enemies. But the problem is, is that it's even hard. To li you can't literally just shoot an enemy and stun it and kill it. You need to do some damage to him. Otherwise, the melee hit just won't kill them. Unless you use like a uh, instant death attack like that. That works. So you're best off trying to sort of fire a burst of like maybe three shots or so. Something like that. It applies to all the machine guns in the game, be it uh, assault rifles, be it like the Scorpion you can get. Uh, with like, uh, certainly uh, Jill's battle suit, of course, she has uh, one of them. Use two of those in the campaign. It's not too bad a start. Won't take long for uh, things to get interesting, folks. Believe me. Those uh, sumo guys are not the danger. Flame rounds, they're not really useful. I tend to, uh, I tend to generally drop grenade launchers. I don't like having them with me uh, because you're stopping up all the different types of ammunition, and you eventually can get really clogged really quickly. 
So I tend to just drop them, but I'm going to keep the electric rounds for a particular reason, which you guys shall see. Where is the rest of the time? There's one here. Might as well grab this because my combo is dead. And there is one down in here as well. This is 16. There we go. All right, so we've got some time to work with that. And parasites. Oh, shit. Well, this is awkward. No, that's not what I meant. Luckily, electric rounds are pretty uh, reasonably effective against uh, parasites and certain other enemies as well. One of which will feature it in this level. So that's why I'm keeping hold of it. Why is it again? Normally I just drop it straight away. I mean, I suppose if you like, get lucky and pick up some uh, like uh, grenade rounds off an, off of an enemy, that's pretty sweet because that's certainly going to have some power behind it. Oh, shit. At least he's dead. I've got the flame rounds, which I'm not too thrilled about. I'm actually going to drop them out, right? I've got the combo timer going, so I should really be trying to be more aggressive here to rack up the uh, bonus points here. Oh, yes. Explosive rounds, you're mine. Most certainly having them. Right, ammo is kind of starting to suck here, folks, as you can see. This is a problem. Oh shit, I just saw that. So, the mines, boss enemy. Fucking Reapers. This is why you want a really precise weapon. Or, electric rounds. Electric rounds are very, very effective against the Reapers, folks. It's very weak to them. Exploit it, it will stun it very well, as you can see here. It's a nice sort of stunning weapon. Other weapon items like uh, like the fire rounds and that's not so good. Flash rounds. That's... Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll keep hold of them as well. In lieu of having uh, actual uh, flash grenades, flash rounds are also pretty good. You can use those, of course, as a way of uh, instantly killing uh, certain enemy types. Oh, you're gonna die. <laughs> Fuck it now, that was miserable. Wow. That was shocking. Unfortunately, because I've not fought Reapers in a long time, I'm not very good at them. The idea is I tend to work with a, 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 like a really strong, precise weapon because I don't like using shotguns against them. It's too unreliable. Basically, you just want to try and just nag them to death, things to death. That's generally the way I go. But I figured I'd have the grenade launcher to sort of show it off a little bit. That's disappointing. Oh, damn it. That's really disappointing as well, actually, because we had a pretty good start to that stage. We're actually doing pretty sweet there as well. It's quite gutting. I've taken such a long time there. Why did I do that? There are a lot of things I'm doing at the moment. I don't know why. Like I say, Ken Stoney really play Rudy much now. So, uh, you know, actual old mercenaries, I don't get involved in so much. Because, to be honest, characters are not here. It's just how the game is. The, uh, the uh, reunion characters are pretty, pretty powerful. And when we got to show off some of the reunion characters, goodness me, you guys, I'm, I'm going to make it look too easy. I really will. Stop. Yup. I'm so not used to using machine guns, because I don't use machine guns very much in the campaign either, so... That's another problem I have with uh, using them. I'm kind of not so familiar with them. Stuff like handguns, obviously very familiar because you just get it and use it, whereas assault rifles and that especially uh, take a bit longer to actually use. You have to ready the weapon, which does take which does take a moment longer. It doesn't sound like much, but it, it does make a difference. I think. You know, you can die. No, Chris. There we are, that's a bit of like it. Shadow, you can play this game when you think about it. You're not 
be you. Oi! My gun is better than yours. Believe me. Are those flash rounds? Eh, I'll keep on with that. At least there's the advantage that this does have over um, Hank. It's certainly a lot stronger over Hank. Oh, okay. I'm good with that. More electric rounds. Don't really need them. Ditch those. I'm also very cautious about having um, three weapons on me uh, at any one time uh, because the problem is as well is the ammo you receive uh, depends of course on the weapons you have on you. The problem is is that if you've got three sets of weapons then the ammo you can get is going to be pretty inconsistent. You don't really know what you're going to get. It's going to get spread out and sometimes you're going to get a lot of one type of ammo and rendering other weapons kind of use. So I tend to like if there's a weapon I don't use very much I tend to get rid of it. I tend to just rub it like two weapons. Uh, another character is there's quite a few characters that have like three weapons that I just tend to just one straight away, just to make my life a bit easier. See, trying to be clever, trying to get the uh, melee hit, get punished. Are those acid rounds? Yeah, they're not very useful. Oh, bye. Have I got any health? I do not. This is worrying. I need to get one of these Reaper skills. I think Reapers drop first aid. I think it's okay. You're not dead? Wow. Oh, grubs. Oi, eat raw egg. Ha-ha. Face for me. All right, douchebag McGee. Care to be annihilated. There we are, that's better. You see, Shadow? When you put your fucking mind to it, you can actually play this game. Shocking. I know. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to discard. No, actually, no. I'm going to change... Oh, shit. I want to change out the... Uh, the because the flash rounds would actually be quite useful. What the hell are those? Were those nitrogen rounds? Yeah, see, this is the problem you get with the grenade launcher as well. You can end up with all these, like, really fancy, um, uh, really fancy uh, ammos. And you, you, you eventually get so cluttered so quickly. It's just, you can't really manage it. You know, when you've got time on here, you can't be spending time sorting out your inventory here. It just needs to be all ready to go, you know, and just get on with it, kill things. Can't be spending all this time having to, like, sort shit out. It's just... It's not... It doesn't work. Right, we need to get into the actual mines here. Let's go and do that. Hand grenade would be nice, though. But I'll keep the flash grenade... the flash rounds on handy, because that's effectively... Those are effectively flash grenades. And quicker flash grenades. So I'll keep them. Ready, uh, troublesome parasite on the side that wants more. There's a load of time here in the actual mine itself, so I'm gonna swat on some of that. What have we got in here? I'll take the explosive rounds. Flash rounds, explosive rounds, both of them are cool with me. In fact, actually, you know what? Gonna do. I was going to start a nation there and I realised I don't have space. Right. Oh, give me a break. There we go. Let's have some entertainment, shall we? Oh, more explosive rounds. Oh, yes. Give me that. Nice. Whoops. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, you can find explosive rounds. That's nice, but the problem is, it's not a guarantee, folks. Not a guarantee. So you need a bit of luck as well if you're going to start to play with the grenade launcher like that. But yeah, if you drop a load of weapons, if you drop weapons, you won't pick up that ammo type anymore. Oh, screw you. <laughs> That's what I think of you. Machine gun rounds, not doing good. 
be careful here, because the next, uh... Oh, shit. The next Reaper is not going to be far... Oh, shit. This is bad. Right, I just want to kill one. Let's grab the timer. Let's dish out the rest of the explosive rounds here. Get the combo timer going. Grab us some points. And then we're going to switch out the flash rounds and we're just going to run with that one, day. Eh? Hear him. Shit. He went for the insta-kill. That was rude. I got the guy behind him. Explosives are always really useful against the damage, uh, against the uh, freaking uh, Reapers. They can at least stun them. Which is always nice. Oh, he's dead! What a result! I don't know why he's dead, but he is. I can live with that. I just wish I knew what I'd done. Anyways, grab hold of that. 70,000 points, not bad at all. Turn. So annoyed that your melee attacks suck, Chris. Why they're not stronger? You can punch a freaking boulder for God's sakes. Why can't you kill these guys? Just swat them away. Let the team down now. Well, that worked. Oh, shit. I need to not die. No! Ooh, he missed just about. Okay. Reload, 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 reload. 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 Anyone else? Bad though, eighty thousand points. I still think that's pretty solid. Pretty damn solid. It takes me back. I used to like play this. I used to play, especially reunion. I used to play it so bloody much. I don't even know why. I just did. I really enjoyed it. The thing is, well, for someone like me, people that know me on the channel, how I can be a bit of a perfectionist sometimes, and trying to just push myself further and further sometimes uh, has its problems. <laughs> Anyways, folks, so uh, that's the mines, and that was my voice going. Not good. All right, lovely. I think we're going to end that one there. Uh, I think we should have plenty enough. Uh, next stage up for us is going to be the village, which I think, personally, is... I think this is the most awkward stage of the entire game. Well, that's pretty awkward. The ship deck can be kind of awkward as well. But the village is probably my least favourite. I think it's quite an annoying level. Uh, really hard to get really good scores with, as you can see. Some characters I've done alright, some I I really haven't, folks. Uh, so that kind of sucks. Uh, but we'll be showing that off there. Uh, once you get there, we've got Ancient Ruins, and then we've got these four stages, which are a lot of entertainment. The experimental facility, you guys can tell. We're going to have some fun here. That's for damn sure. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you then.